Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about the sort of extra grammar um, and language arts activities that we have incorporated as part of our morning work. So we had started with Word Roots beginning, and we've actually gone all the way through this book. I'm going to show you some pages, but we... Um, tore out all the perforated pages so that we could work on them. Um, and so everything is just sort of loosely in this one right now. Um, Word Roots beginning um, was for grades three, four. My learner is third grade, um, but this was really good. And we actually worked through it for the majority of the school year and just finished it fairly recently and have started with um, an editing one, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. So the idea is that it is going to provide worksheets talking about some roots um, and prefixes and suffixes, and then it introduces and continues to build upon that to help expand their vocabulary. So um, the initial lessons were pretty easy. Things like um, matching what a root word matched up to um, plus with the prefix, what those meant and how they sort of fit together like a puzzle and then putting those words together and figuring out the meanings and putting them into sentences. Um, it then went on to prefixes, teaching that certain prefixes um, mean certain things. So there, and then that you can put those together to make new words. Um, and then how to put those into vocabulary. So what those words mean. Um, once you get through the first couple, it really just um, does start to follow a pattern. Um, and we found that uh, once we, let me get to one that uh, sort of follows that pattern. Um, we found that uh, we spread this out across two days, two mornings. So on the first morning, you would get an introduction um, to some new uh, prefixes, suffixes, and roots. You would match to the vocabulary, and that's activity A. Then activity B, you would fill in the correct word based upon the choices that it gave. And we would do that on one day. And then the next day, we would do activity C, which was fill in the word from a word box. Um, and so you might repeat them a few times and it doesn't tell you which one in particular for the sentence. Um, and then activity D, which is uh, writing your own sentences, using it in a sentence. Um, periodically throughout, I want to say there were like three times maybe um, where it um, had a show what you know review. And in those, it would combine everything that had previously been taught and then um, in similar types of activities, like match it with the definition, uh, write it, a sentence for it. I'm only finding one right here. There we go, here's the end. Too many papers, like I said, they're all loose leaf now. So show what you know, review, it was match to the definitions, um, circle the word that is spelled correctly, fill in the blank from a word box, and 
write your own sentences. So anyway, we found that very helpful. I think it has helped um, my kids vocabulary, but also when they're reading then to be able to sound out some words a little bit better because the roots are there and the prefixes are there and that's something that they've seen before. Um, and also we found opportunities to talk about how, oh, that word, oh, it means this because remember this root means this thing um, and kind of connect it to real life vocabulary as it comes up. Um, I was going to go on to the next word roots book right away, but when I looked at it, it's actually grades five and up. So we're going to wait on that. And instead, we switched over to editor in chief, um, beginning one. And I really like this one so far. Uh, it has started with, um, it starts with a lesson and goes over like the lesson one is on what do you capitalize? And then it has six little paragraphs for practicing finding those errors. And it has the little bubbles off to the side so you know how many errors there are. Um, and we've covered um, punctuation. Um, and then there was a mini review. So um, we had covered capitalization and punctuation. So then it did two that was a mini review. And then it goes on to another one. Um, we've had a couple of mini reviews. I'm trying to see, did we have one that's a, a big review? Yeah, so we had one so far that's a review over lessons one, two, three, and four. So then there were several things to look for in each um, paragraph. Um, and I believe it's going to build up to, yeah, a few more. Um, and it'll kind of go like that, two lessons, and then there's a mini review, two lessons and a mini review, and then a larger review of the last four lessons. And I want to say, yeah, um, after lessons one through eight, there's a review. And then lessons nine through 16, there's a review for all of those. And we did actually get beginning two, though I'm pretty sure we're not going to get to it this year. Um, our school year ends in May. Um, but this has been fun. This has been helpful, again, to sort of go over those uh, grammar and punctuation rules that they uh, need to learn for writing and reading and language arts skills. Um, but also, um, my learner just likes uh, correcting other people. So correcting mistakes. Um, that is something that they found very enjoyable is actually doing this editing where they're catching the other mistakes. So I just wanted to provide a uh, little information, our feedback, our review on these. Um, they've worked really great for us, for a uh, third grader. Um, and we use these, uh, we do like one or two activities. Like I said, for um, the word roots, we do two of the activities um, each morning. And then so far for this, we've done one lesson, which would be up to six paragraphs um, or a mini review or a review, which was like two to four paragraphs each. So that hasn't been too much for us. And we just do that as part of our morning routine getting started. And then from there, we go into our language arts and social studies or science lesson. Um, what other books have you guys found that are helpful or have you used any of these? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks. Bye.